Hey, everybody, welcome back. You guys might remember back in August, I reviewed some stuff from Swartz Foods. Well, they have a whole new bunch of stuff out. Freeze-dried entrees, freeze-dried individual meals. So today, we're going to check a few of these out and see just what's up with them and see how good they are. All right, folks, welcome back. Like I said, back in August, I did a review on some of their items. I tried a couple of them, and they were exceptional. They were really, really good. Now, if you don't know about Swartz Foods, they are a smaller company. They kind of just got their start a little while ago. I discovered them through another YouTube channel, and I reached out to them and uh, tried their food, and I was like, wow, this stuff is really good, way better than like your average mountain house or any of the other freeze-dried foods. Um, they have expanded their line quite a bit. One of the things I did notice on their site was they actually have chicken now, just freeze-dried chicken in a little bag. Obviously, these are strawberries, but just a portion of freeze-dried chicken. So you can begin to cook your own stuff, but the more stuff they add, you can throw in extra chicken if you have something. You know, let's say I have like creamy chicken and rice over there, and I want some more chicken in it. You can toss it in there. So it is neat to see. It does hydrate very, very well. The One of the nice things about this is almost all of these are 1.5 or 2 cups of boiling water, uh, and it's right on the money. I'll caution folks with Mountain House. If they say use 2 cups, I say 1.8, you know, because it'll be really soupy if you use the full amount. Not these guys. They're right on the money with their stuff. They also have some new stuff I wanted to try out today, and that's some of these um, ice cream sandwiches. And they have some freeze-dried crispy tarts, you know, sweet tarts type things, freeze-dried fruities, and they do pop open when they freeze-dry them. That's normal, so they're not bad or anything. Got some freeze-dried pineapple, freeze-dried strawberry, but really what I'm interested in is having a couple of these entrees. So we're going to get started with a couple of them and try them out and see. The first thing I want to try is the beef stroganoff, and that is 1.5 cups of water. So we're going to get some water going here. I'm going to try these out. Now, these come in nice, thick Mylar bags. They are sealed. They will last up to 20 to 25 years unopened. And the snacks will about four to six months when they're open. Most of these entrees are very affordable. They are for two people, okay? All of these serve two people. They're big entrees, and they're 10 bucks each for the most part. I didn't see any of that, at least these that were more than 10 so you figure that's five bucks each to eat while you're out on the trail or during an emergency or whatever. You have some backup food. If you want to store a few of these, put them away. Um, I think they're ideal for get home bags, bug out bags, that kind of stuff. Um, even a deployment bag, you know, where if you know you work with search and rescue or CERD or any of the other type groups like our ham radio group, you know, you're going to get called out. You don't know how long you're going to be out. Maybe there's a long term emergency. Awesome way to cook while you're out there. Very simple. Doesn't require much. A simple alcohol stove. And you can fire up two cups of water or one and a half cups of water and you'll be good to go. Um, they are all, they do have the shelf life on them right there. That's your best by date, 11-22-2047. So they definitely last a good long time. All of them are marked clearly. Um, I'm not sure on these guys. Let's see. They're not marked on here, but let's face it, most of this stuff is sugar anyway so they'll probably last that long so the first thing we're going to do is the beef stroganoff then i'd like to try out the sausages and gravy with biscuits but i'm not going to bore you with you know boiling the water and all that i'm going to bring you back when the water's ready to boil we're going to pour it in and we're going to try it out after it's hydrated all right so we got the coleman exponent stove on there i'm going to open this up we do have a cup and a half of water in the measuring cup here popping it in this little titanium cup not putting it on just yet. I'm going to open this up and show you what's inside real quick. All right. There we go. Got the bag open here. My fingers don't want to cooperate this morning. All right. So the first thing you want to do is get rid of your oxygen absorber. Now I'll give you a look inside. That's a whole lot of real beef, mushrooms. That looks really, really good. All right. Let's put our cup and a half of water on here. This will get hot, so you have to be careful. And turn it up a little bit. And I'll bring you back when it's ready to go. All right, we got it boiling. Let me turn that off. Got boiling water and oh, cool. That's easy enough to handle there. We're gonna dump this in here. You stir it around, and then you let it sit for ten minutes. Okay. So you do want to get everything wet and stir it around. 
and it does shrink back down into the bag somewhat, which is very nice because I thought it was going to be hard to stir around those noodles, you know, because they were very, they were right up to here almost. And then when you put it back in the bag, they're down to a normal size. All right. We've stirred it around. These do have nice thick mylar bags. They are gusseted. So as you can tell, they can stand on their own. Mm. So far, it tastes good. Not hydrated yet. We're going to close it up. Let it sit for 10 minutes. I'll bring you back when that's ready to eat. All right, we've been 10 minutes here. We're going to get some of this out of here and try it. I did uh, move it around a little bit at about five minutes, and it tasted amazing. I'm just using these little cups down here. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. There we go. And you see, that's a ton of food in there. That is a whole lot of food. There's beef and mushrooms in there. Really, really good. So... Let's try it out. I'm going to zip it up because I'm probably going to eat that for lunch. Okay. Let's try it out. Get you a look at it. You can see excellent noodles and everything. Let's give it a try here. Mmm. Man, that is good. Really hearty taste of mushrooms. Nice flavor to it. Mmm. Yep. Definitely awesome. Way better than any beef stroganoff I've had before in a freeze-dried meal. That will definitely be lunch today. <laughs> we'll put that to the side. Next up, I want to try something more breakfast-related. That's the sausage gravy and biscuits. So let me get the uh, stove back on and get a cup and a half of water on there. Or is this two cups? Two cups. Okay. We're going to add two cups of boiling water. And then we'll try that one out. All righty. Putting our water on. We're going to open this up and see what it's all about in there. See what it looks like without... Any kind of liquid in it. Let's open it up first. Okay. There we go. Take a look and see what we got. Now we got some, we must have some instructions going on here because I have a bag inside of a bag. So let's see. Remove CO2 absorber, discard, remove biscuit bag, and set aside. Add two cups of water to the gravy, then stir and close. Let's sit for 10 minutes. Break up biscuits, mix into gravy. And let's sit till resire, desired temperature. Okay, so what you have to do with this, and that does make sense because I'll tell you, I've had some biscuits and gravy before, and the biscuits were always either hard or weird, or they just didn't they didn't fit right. So this is what you want in here. You got to take out your oxygen absorber. Okay, this is your gravy and sausage and stuff in there. We're gonna do that first. Okay, we're gonna wait ten minutes to let hydrates. Then we're gonna break these up and toss them in there, and this is gonna get messy. We're going to toss them in here and let them hydrate, seal it back up, and let them hydrate to our desired texture. I tend to like them kind of soft, so we'll give that a try. All right, bring you back when we got boiling water. All right, we're back. We got boiling water. We're all set. Let's turn that off. Make sure that's, yep, that's good. Another reason I love titanium. <laughs> the handles don't get ridiculously hot on the cookware sometimes. It depends on how you have it. Okay, so we're doing this. So we're just doing the uh, sausage gravy and the stuff in here, okay? We're going to let that hydrate. Right now, it's kind of just soupy sausage gravy. And like the uh, thing says here, you're going to remove the biscuits. You're going to add two cups of the water to gravy and let's stir and close. Let it sit for 10 minutes. Break up biscuits, which we've already started to do. You see, this comes with two full biscuits. I've started to break one up. I'm going to stir this around a little bit more to make sure I get everything in the corners taken care of, okay? Then we're gonna leave this alone and come back in 10 minutes, toss the biscuits in. One of the things I like about their bags too is they're nice thick mylar and you probably could reuse these um, if you wanted to, if you cleaned them out. I wouldn't say, you know, use it for long-term food storage, but if you had maybe some of your package left over, maybe you wanted to put something in there you're gonna eat quickly, even as a water container, these bags are pretty freaking awesome. They're really thick. All right. Bring you back in a few. While we're kind of doing this in reverse, I wanted to try out one of these ice cream sandwiches. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. Maybe a lot of you have tried them in the past. But I wanted to try one out and see if it was good, as I remember. Now, remember, the last one I tried was a Mountain House one. I tried it ages ago. This is a Neapolitan one. Like memories of childhood looking at that. <laughs> well, bean chocolate's my favorite. We're going to bite into that end first. Wow. That's good. Requires a bit of chewing because it is freeze-dried. And, of course, you're not going to rehydrate it. But that is really good. I mean, that it just tastes like a, almost like a cookie in the flavor of the way you'd remember an ice cream sandwich. That is really awesome. Okay, we're going to save that one for later. I'm going to finish that up. 
Uh, so a few more minutes on that and we will finish up the video. All right, there's sufficient time. I'm sure this is hydrated. Now remember, this will be soupy in here because you want those biscuits to soak up the rest of it. But there you go, that's all ready. It is thicker, but not fully thicked up, thickened up enough yet. So we're just gonna take some of these and toss them in, or all of them, and toss them in. We're gonna mix it up, bring it to the desired, thick, desired softness and texture we like of the biscuit, and see what we got. So I will bring you back in a little bit once we get all this mixed in here and we will try this one out so far um you know i tried their entrees before like i said in august and i loved them so far i'm really impressed this is really good the sauce is gravy smell tastes awesome too all right we're gonna seal it up you know wait another i don't know five six minutes see if we can get those nice and soft and i'll bring you back then all right we're all done let's see how this came out i left them in there a little while because i didn't want crunchy biscuits we'll definitely try it out and see Looks good. Let's see. I'm going to try and dump a little out this way. There we go. Okay. Let's try it out. See what it looks like. Mmm. Perfect. And the sausage is good. That is really, really tasty. Let me chew here for a sec. Again, of all the freeze-dried meals that I've had with sausage, gravy, and biscuits... That has to be the best tasting one and the most real tasting one. You know, it doesn't taste like it was pre-processed from somewhere. It tastes like it's legit. Somebody just cooked it. Really good stuff. And that's one of the reasons I like Swartz Foods. I remember that from my last review of them. It's just really good food and it tastes like really freshly made. So like I said, these entrees, about 10 bucks each. You're going to be splitting it between two people because obviously there's a ton more food in there. These are made for two people. The serving size on them even says so. So you got two servings per. Uh, there's a half a container is a serving size. So definitely a good deal. Five bucks to eat. You know, I mean, five bucks for you and whoever you're out there with. So they're definitely a good deal and they taste incredible. And they are a new startup company in the United States. Uh, definitely food fatigue is a real thing. So you definitely want to keep your food stash and your food storage rotated and with some different stuff in it and not the same old same old stuff anyway folks thank you for watching i will put a link down below to their food here and i think you definitely want to try it out even if you just buy one give them a try because the food's amazing i'm telling you right now that beef stroganoff is just out of this world even the freeze-dried ice cream was awesome so i will put a link down below you can check them out at swartzfoods.com but the link will be down below to check out uh don't forget to check out our amazon affiliate store and even if there's nothing in the store you like, just click the link, shop as you normally would. Really helps us out. Our freeze dry wholesaler link down there as well. If you click that link, you will save 15% on your entire order. The more you order, the more you'll save. I know that sounds like a lame marketing tactic, but it's true. I've had people message me saying, I saved over $400. Wow, you know, so it's a good deal. Even if you want to buy one thing, he has awesome food, wide variety of food, and the link will save you 15%. In your shopping cart at the end when you check out, you will see your discount. We have our My Patriot Supply link. That's preparewithiridium.com. Amazingly good deals on there this month, so check them out. And below that is our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store, so don't forget to check that out as well. I thank you for tagging along with me this morning. Stay safe and stay prepared.